Hey everyone, I am back and I'm back with another haul for you guys. Um, today's haul is going to be from Nordstrom, Ross, Target, MAC, Estee Lauder, Ulta, and Rite Aid. So I got a few drugstore and a few um, high-end products. So with that, so let's go ahead and start off with the Ross items. I had gone into Ross to go and check out um, their summer sandals because usually they have cute summer sandals during summertime. Um, but I also picked up one makeup item, and it's this 32-piece eyeshadow um, collection set, and this is the Everyday Basics. This one was for $4.49. Um, the palette looks like this. I already swatched a few for you guys. Um, that's what it looks like. They're okay. They're not the best pigmentation on them. As you can see, the purple was a bit powdery. Also, the middle color there, it's like a silver. And then the bronze color was just like you can't even see it at all, but you can't complain for it being $4. Um, that's with no base, so we'll see what look we can come up with um, this palette. Now, the sandals my husband had actually purchased for me. Um, the first one are actually my favorite that I found over there. And you know at Ross, you never know what you're going to find. Um, it's these Rocket Dog sandals. And right in the front of them have like these beads right on top of it. And if you... Oh, on the back of it, it has the zipper. And if you look at it from the side, it has a buckle on the ankle right here and it also has a buckle on the side of the foot so these ones were actually $14.99 and these are compared to like 40 bucks I think rocket dog shoes in general are pretty pricey so consider these a deal so those are it um, the next ones that I got are from Chinese laundry and they're just these flat um, sandals and these ones actually have the toe loop up in the front. I honestly don't own any sandals that have that toe loop, but I figured, hey, why not? Um, I'll see if I like them. And on the side of these sandals, they also have the gold hardware here. And on the inside of the sandal, they have those feathers on them. And these ones were for $12.99. And the last pair that I got over at Ross for these black thong sandals. And these ones have the silver hardware versus the gold and their thong. And they also have the um, feather, but it's in silver. And these ones were for $12.99. So yeah, check out your Ross, your nearest Ross stores, because they do have um, different items every time, and you never know what you're going to find the next time. So... Alright, so the next store is Nordstrom. My husband also had bought me two of um, the Deborah Littman nail polishes. And this, the first one being Whatever Lola Wants, which was created by um, Kelly Ripa. And this is just a baby pink with a bit of shimmer. Um, it's pretty sheer, so you might have to use at least three coats to achieve the color on the bottle. And the last one that I got from Deborah Littman is... Um, called I Know What Boys Like and this is just a purple blue and it's a cream and it's very opaque so those are the two that I got from Deborah Littman to add to my collection the next store is MAC I actually needed to go to MAC to go get another backup of the um, MAC 134 brush, which is 134, which is this big paddle brush. If I hold it against my face, it's pretty, you guys can see how huge it is. So, and this brush is always hard to keep in stock. I had to go to two different locations to go and find um, this brush. So, I believe this is $52. I'm not too sure, but it's a very versatile um, brush. So I got that one, and I also wanted to pick up the um, Studio, the Studio, 
the Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder, and um, this is in medium deep. I use the Select Sheer Pressed Powder. I don't know how much of a difference it would be, but it, they look exactly the same. And this is the Studio Care Blend. So this is the Studio Care Blend, and this one is the Select Sheer. I know I'm running out, so that's why I wanted to try something new and see how well it works. But that's the Select Sheer Pressed Powder, and this is the Studio Care Blend. So definitely I'll let you guys know as soon as I um, try this product out to see what difference they have to one another. Alright, the other item that I picked up from MAC was one of their Prep and Prime products. And this one is the Face Protectant... Um, sunscreen or primer so this is a face protector protection protect protection <laughs> and this is SPF 50 so let me show you what the bottle looks like I have never ever tried this so I usually use the Shiseido um, sunblock for the face and it's like in a little blue um, too, but I wanted to try this one out so that's what it looks like I have not yet used it so but as you can see I didn't use it yet but I'll let you guys know as soon as I do how I like it and also I picked up this is actually the last item that I got from there I also picked up one of their new um, mineralized skin finishes and this is one of their new products for summer it's the called Sun Power they also have a lighter one in this um, collect. It's not really a collection, but it's part of their permanent line. So um, I love our mineralized skin finishes. So that's what it looks like. And let me go ahead and swatch just a bit for you. And that's what it looks like right at the bottom. So if you guys are pretty tan during the summer, you might want to get this versus the lighter one. And I believe this one was 28, yeah, 28 or 27, I'm not sure. Alright, so the next store I had gone to was Ulta. Now Ulta, I went in there to go and... Um, get a few of their um, polishes from Essie and it's the new wedding collection and the cutest thing about this collection is the names on the um, colors so I only got two from the wedding collection and the first one being First Dance and this is just a cherry red and the next one that I got was Borrowed and Blue and this one was my favorite out of the four there's um, two There's two other ones in this collection, it's just like a baby pink and like a magenta pink, I think, or like, they're very light, very nude. So I just, I figured I had a lot of the nude colors, so I wanted to pick up these two. And this one in particular, I don't have anything like. So those are the two that I got from the wedding collection. And I also had picked up, um, they had like a, um, what is it? It was like a um, display, and this is um, the Essence Fairy Tale Nail Polish, and this one is in 04 Humpty Dumpty, which is like a purple with a bit of like silver glitter, kind of. And this one is in 02 Pixie Dust. So I'm not too sure if this is a limited edition, but I believe it is because of the packaging. And this one is just like a pearlescent um, pink, like a champagne color. And of course on the handles of it, you guys see that there's like butterflies and flowers. So these ones were $1.99. The, these are actually the last two, so I just picked them up. And the last item that I picked up from Ulta was the NYX. Perfect um, blotting paper on the go. It's getting hot where I live, and of course, my face is getting um, shinier. And so, instead of reapplying makeup every time or reapplying my powder, I figured I'd 
use a blotting powder or blotting powder, blotting paper to take the excess oil off. So I haven't used it yet, but this is what it looks like. Let me use one actually. I'll show you guys. So that's what it looks like. They're just thin pieces of paper. And this one was actually $3.50. And what you do, as you can see on my face, there's a bit of shine on the nose area. So you just um, wipe it on your face. And there it is. There's all the oil from your face. All right, so those are the only items that I got from Ulta. From Estee Lauder, I only picked up one item, and it's part of their new Bronze Goddess collection, and it's the Sea Star Bronzing Blush Duo, or not Duo, but it's the Bronzing Blush, and it looks like this, and the packaging looks like this right here, and if you open it up, it's a pretty pink um, Sea Star right in the middle of it, and on the outer part is more of the tanner. Um, color and as you can see there is an overlay spray of a bit of shimmer but of course I already used it and let me swatch these for you so I'm going to swatch this part right here and this is just a light shimmer color which is right there and let me go ahead and swatch this star for you that's right there and let me swatch it all together. Very, very pretty. It's right there. And this, I believe, was for $34. It's a limited edition, so when I was trying to look for it, they're pretty much sold out everywhere. So if I were you, I would check your department stores. And the last two items that I got from Rite Aid were um, more of the Revlon lip glosses and they look like this. At the time that I purchased these as well, these ones were on sale for 40% off. So I purchased them for $4.19 a piece. And the first one is called 150 Peach uh, Petal. And let me swatch that one for you. And that's what it is right there. And the other one is 140 Coil. And this one has that metallic y um, finish to it. Right there. Oops. Right there. Sorry. So those are the two lip glosses. And the last item is from Target. And I had purchased the Lauren Conrad um, style book. I'm not sure how new this is or how long ago she had um, released this, but this is um, called Style. And this is $19.99, but Target gives 30% off of the um, cover prices, so basically this book is just how she teaches you how to um, wear things correctly, like clothing, how to um, accessorize, makeup, um, just random beauty related stuff, so interesting. I haven't read it all yet, um, so yeah, this is again the Lauren Conrad style book. So I believe that will conclude my entire um, haul for you guys. If you guys have any questions on any of the products, please feel free to leave it down below. Again, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!